Good evening. You're watching Broken News. I'm Doug Smith. And I'm Brad Dennett. We start tonight with a story that really touches me on a personal level. Alcohol. It's the reason for three of my four recent marriages and the cause of four of my five butterfly tattoos. Alcohol has done a lot for our cruel world, from helping us to make karaoke bearable, people interesting, and to establish emojis as an ideal form of communication. Alcohol connects people and makes you appreciate the small things in life, like balance, sentence structure, and how if the pussycat dolls can be considered musicians, then you can make it down those stairs. However, the Grahamstown municipality, but over their unsuccessful 2010 World Cup stadium bid, has banned the sale and consumption of alcohol. As a result, locals have been feeling open mouth face, sad face, weary face, rage face. And now with the story is Lalu. A shortage in alcohol has recently been announced in Grahamstown, better known as G Vegas. Recent studies reflect that one in three people living in this town are devout members of the Turn Up, Ghees and Potsoy Society. We spoke to a few students to find out more. I'm standing at the cave at Rhodes University discussing a very important issue affecting a lot of the students. There has been an alcohol shortage for quite a while and a lot of students are feeling really frantic about this. Eh, hey, it's going to be a buckle, eh? I don't know, a shortage in alcohol. Like what are we meant to drink? It's just, it can't work, man. Um, because also because there's nothing to do in Graham's son. Um, I honestly don't know how they're going to go around about it. It is actually heartbreaking because I know us as fellow students like turn up. So, eesh, yeah, now that's a, that's a tough one. I honestly don't know. A representative from Prime Nightclub offered to share his experience. I can't function right now. Alcohol is the driving principle to my life and we don't have alcohol, Grahamstown is suffering. The water crisis, alcohol saves that. And we don't have alcohol, it's sad. It's sad for the business, sad for the community, sad for all the students who are here who want to drink alcohol and distress. So, um, I'm sad, I'm sad. We decided to get a professional opinion from Dr. Barte Ki, an alcoholist at the Rhodes Counseling Center, to give us a feel as to what students are going through in terms of student wellness. Student morale is at an all-time low. I mean, we have students coming in here who are on the verge of panic attacks. They, they, get, they have to go to Dorneys. They didn't know they had Dorneys in the first place. Sex levels went down, stress, people were fighting on the social networks, like SLC page was a dog show. In the field, we have uh, scientific terms, beer goggles, in which, um, through consuming more alcohol, people become more attractive. And now with it gone, people just... It's where's the love? As an alcoholist, it's a severe problem for me because, I mean, business is drying up. I'm not going to have any more patience. I mean, what's going to happen is I'm going to have to, if things don't change, I'm going to have to move to a different town, set up a new practice. It's, it's going to be difficult. But, I mean, unjalu with life, friends. This is Lolo Nukana reporting from the cave. Scientists in Bulgaria have made a giant leap towards finding a cure for cat. Breaking news! This just in. The cutest cats of the week. You don't want to miss it. I like the one in the jeans. In local news this week, we uncover the real ingredients for a Lancashire hot pot. Father Time talks about his idea of a Facebook. And lastly, Broken News discusses why our SRC has lost more members than the cast of Game of Thrones. However, some things remain unanswered. How can Fry Tux actually consider itself a restaurant? And how can a news anchor be beardless? We might never know. However, thanks to our hard-working, dedicated, and now surprisingly sober reporters, the mystery of underfunding at Rhodes University's African Media Matrix has finally been answered. We cross over to Stephanie, who helped crack the case, and your house sat for me when a particular anchor said he was busy. The Africa Media Matrix is viewed by many students as the finest building on campus. The journalism department is well known for its numerous computer labs, TV studio, and updated equipment. However, very few students know the problems that the journalism students and staff are facing. 
The vending machine. We have one, right? Yay, but it doesn't work. Earlier today, it was out of order. How am I supposed to get my food? I mean, we're out here working for the longest hours ever, but we can't have a freaking vending machine. Okay, so get this. They repair the vending machine, but my chips got stuck. Is there winning in this life? Is there? Some of the master students have had some complaints regarding their exclusive tea room. We have access to this room, but like we have this like fancy machine that's so complicated to use. Like I don't even know what's going on there. Like you put a seven rand like pod in, and then it's supposed to make this like fancy cappuccino. It does not like reflect what's on the label. Like it's really upsetting. Although the department has an elevator, it has been reported to have many problems. The elevator can only fit six people, and that's really annoying on days when you've got seven friends and you need to get up to the top of the department. Uh, when we have seven friends or eight friends, then one or two of us always have to take the stairs. The famous ticker has been broken for many months, and now the journalists do not have a reliable source of news and other important information. Some have been seen waiting for the ticker to start working for what seems like forever, but they do not seem to be getting any luck. The students are not the only ones with issues. JMS staff also seem to have some complaints, most notably the equipment manager, Dees Naidu. There's just too much of equipment in the store. As you can see, they don't have enough space in this place. Next week Friday, the journals will embark on an epic march from the Nelson Mandela Dining Hall to the AMM. The march will be focused on emphasizing the problems with the hope of a solution. This is Stephanie Shumba reporting for The Broken News. The SRC page was a riot storm yesterday after students spoke out about the excessive, often incorrect use of hashtags on the page. Keyboard Courage commented that, quote, The problem is that hashtags have begun to problematize an already problematic problem. However, the argument was not quite over. A proud hashtag rebutted with, quote, K thanks. Bye. The debate has already attracted much attention with well-known SRC page activist Michael Jackson already having made an appearance in the comments section. If you would like to show your support in bringing down the hashtag movement, voice your opinion using the hashtag, hashtags must fall. Bongani is up next with your weather. Hello and welcome to your weekly SRC page weather forecast. This week, as per usual, we are experiencing extreme weather conditions on the page with shit storms flooding the common section. The storm is expected to last two full days and will no doubt leave locals with sleepless nights as they bang their foreheads against the keyboards. Inappropriate posts will reach a high in this region, but it will evaporate by the afternoon. Expect absolutely no chill for the page this week. This is the perfect opportunity for a keyboard war, so keep out your laptops and stretch those fingers. A tsunami of discrimination will wash over the northern area later this afternoon. Locals can expect a temperature of zero degree tolerance, so keep warm and comfortable wrapped up in your white privilege. However, if you venture out onto the page, make sure you have enough memes to protect yourself from the harsh conditions. That's all for this week. This is Bongani Shweni, back to school. This has been Broken News. Thank you for watching. I apologize for the lack of my co-anchor. He's running for SRC president. I'm Brad Dennett. Good night.